Am I the asshole for screaming at my husband and his sister to get out of my kitchen? My husband's sister lives with us and our kids. I'm well beyond fed up with her being here because of food issues. That's the only reason. So, basically, every single time I make food his sister will come in and doctor up the food I'm making to her. Liking. Like I made steak and shrimp the other day like Applebee's and she waited until I left the room. To put a full stick of butter in my shrimp that was already done and when I came back in. She goes I'm pretty sure that's the taste you were looking for and completely ruined it. It was trash. Or whenever I make spaghetti she will start dumping sugar into the sauce. To a point of sweet spaghetti that me and my kids outright refuse to touch because it's nasty. Every single time that she can get away with it. She's doing something to the food. Anyways. My husband has started doing the same thing. I went to make homemade mac last night and cheeseburgers. I went to the basement to the chest freezer to grab the veggies I needed and when I came back. Upstairs. My husband was putting canned chicken into the mac and cheese. He knows the kids absolutely hate the taste of that and his sister has pushing blocks of blue cheese into the partially cooked burgers. I asked what the fuck they thought they were doing because I've told them so many times to stop fucking with the food and neither of them had any good excuse other than we were just helping i flipped out and told them to get the fuck out of my kitchen both of them told me i was overreacting etc etc the thing is i've openly asked my sill to cook several times and she won't but she won't stop fucking with the food i'm making My husband cooks often and I don't care if he screws with food he makes but it royally pisses me off when my cooking is messed with and he knows that. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Tell them that if they hate the food so much, they need to cook for themselves and stop cooking for these people. Get your sill out of your home while you're at it. Not the asshole. She sounds unhinged and why is your husband not only enabling her, but actively participating? They both suck. She needs to go ASAP and you and him need a long talk. Not the asshole. When they ruin a dish, set it aside in the fridge. Then when they ask what's for dinner tell them they can have whatever dish they ruined. Then take your kiddos out to eat or have takeout ready for them. Edit thanks for the award. Not the asshole. Especially considering they're just making your job harder by making your food inedible for your kids. Your sister-in-law has overstayed her welcome. Not the asshole. The fact that your husband has joined in on this feels like they've teamed up against you. How about not making dinner? Maybe you can get takeout just for yourself and the kids for a week or so. Husband and Syl are not only insulting your cooking, they're turning your food into something the kids don't enjoy, either. Not the asshole. Can you go on strike and stop cooking, and see what they do? Not the asshole. You've already addressed this multiple times and they're just being downright disrespectful at this point. I'd have flipped out as well. Don't like the way something is cooked. Do it yourself. Not the asshole. If they like messing with food so much, they can take over cooking for the house full time. Have your sill move out. Done. Not the asshole. If you break it, you buy it. If you ruin it, you have to eat it. Not the asshole. Your sill and husband are being incredibly rude. Not the asshole. But I think it's time for you to ask your sill to move out. You also need to let your husband know he isn't being a good husband father if he thinks it's ohkie. To mess with the food his wife and kids eat. 
Hard not the asshole on this one. It's your dish. Sill and your husband have no right to tamper with the food. How about they eat the food they mess with for a week? I'm pretty sure there will be enough in the pot if they ruined a meal for all of you. I'd be getting takeout every time they make my dinner inedible. Not the asshole and this situation is infuriating. Not the asshole nobody fucks with the food when I'm cooking. Nobody. You sill is being passive aggressive. And now has your hubby joining in. Tell her she needs to move out. ASAP. Then tell your hubby if she doesn't. You will. Then maybe he can say you're overreacting. Not the asshole. Not only are they assholes to you for sabotaging your meal. But their actions are a crime against good food. Not the asshole. Like others have said. Make sure you have everything available within arm's reach all ingredients and all cooking and serving needs. Another thought is to stop cooking or scale way back. The kids can survive on quick to fix grilled cheese. Chef boy are ready. Or frozen meals for quite a while. This would infuriate me to no end. Additionally, you husband is as much of the problem as his sister. Not the asshole. On what planet is it okay to make dinner unpalatable to kids because one adult of three likes it that way? Selfish and self-centered come to mind. But ask yourself, is this a cooking issue or a sill living situation issue? Because it sounds like the latter since she is egging her brother on. Time for sill to get out. And make sure you have everything within arm's reach. Don't leave while cooking anymore. Not the asshole who the fuck puts sugar in pasta. Are you the same person whom Sil messed with your homemade tomato soup? Cause this almost exact same scenario was on Am I the Asshole? A few weeks back. Not the asshole. I'd tell her to get out a lot further than my kitchen. Not the asshole. But make sure you have everything you need before you start and don't leave the kitchen until you serve the food. Maybe get a kid to guard it if you have to use the bathroom or something. It's like having to guard your food from pets. Only worse. Not the asshole. When she's getting ready, add a sprinkling of glitter to her foundation. I think that's the effect you were looking for. Add bleach in her laundry I think that's the color you were looking for. Add special salt or chili flakes in her dish that's the spice you were looking for. Revenge is a dish best served petty. Not the asshole. Don't mess with other people's food. If you want to doctor it up. Doctor up your own plate. Not the asshole at all. But by way of explanation. I suspect your sill and husband grew up with a different style of food. And their tastes have changed. Your nasty is their good. Your good is their bland. I have some family members like that some like cakes so sweet that I feel like it hurts my teeth. On the flip side. I like saltier food than many people. Not the asshole I cook every night and I would loose it on someone for doing that. I don't care what you do to it once it's on your plate but in the pot don't touch unless I ask you. 2. I would absolutely only cook for myself and children if they ever did it again until they made dinner for a week at least. OMG you just don't touch or alter PR add things when someone else is cooking. Just cook for yourself and the kids from now on. They can cook for each other when you're done in the kitchen. And I think it's time your sill found another place to stay. With her boundary disrespecting actions. It's rubbing of on your husband. Not the asshole. Definitely not the asshole when they are ruining the food. Just tell your sill if she does it again you won't cook for her. I have read almost this exact post before a few months ago.